Hi guys, how's it going? So today's story is all about how Facebook will be enabling Oculus Quest, Oculus Quest 2 and Rift S users to be able to first of all create multiple accounts and also allow those multiple accounts to access and cross share various different apps. Let's find out more. By the way, today's video is not sponsored by VR-Wave.store. However, since they've sent us a couple of the prescription lenses, we think they're really awesome and we want to let you know about this. By the way, you can get also a 5% discount using the promo code VRESSENTIALS. More details in the description below the like button. Hi everybody, how's it going? So welcome back to VR Essentials, where we talk about the practical uses of virtual reality and where you can get your weekly dose of VR educational entertainment. Very nice to meet you if it's your first time here to the platform and of course, Big welcome back to all our regular subscribers. Always awesome to have you with us. That's right, you heard it. So Facebook will officially be allowing users to unable to log in within the same Oculus device using different Facebook accounts. This is particularly great because it means you won't need to reinstall all your various different apps and reinstall, of course, the Oculus software within the Oculus Quest and Oculus Quest 2 device. So now all that the primary account holder of the Oculus Quest 2 has to do is just tag various different other people who also have a Facebook account to be able to add it to the primary account. It will apparently allow up to three or four different accounts to be tagged to the primary one. And also what will happen with the secondary accounts is they'll be able to access their library games and then choose the various different games which are shared by the primary contact. Content that will be accessible by secondary accounts will also include not only the games but also any updated DLCs as well. But the funny thing is is that any secondary accounts whilst they will also be able to purchase their own apps they will not be able to share those apps with the primary account. So it will work one way but not the other. This new feature apparently will also be available starting in February as an experiment and it's been rolled out to give parents more parental control. Do note, however, that Facebook are not providing primary users the ability to block specific access inside of the Oculus for secondary users. For example, if the secondary user is 13 years old, he can still go and browse the web and find potentially very sensitive material that parents may not find suitable. While Facebook will allow up to four devices where the primary account holder could log in with their own Facebook account, they won't be able, however, to use the same app at the same time on all of those devices. So this means that while you may have two people using the same primary account on two different devices, both people will not be able, for example, to use Allspace. Only one person can use Allspace, whilst the other person, for example, could be playing some Population 1. For developers who want to submit their new app starting February 13, you will need to implement the app sharing tool inside of your app. However, or current apps that are already on the Oculus Quest store will already be automatically updated apparently. We understand that being forced to have to use a Facebook account in order to use the Oculus Quest 2 might not be something that you're comfortable with. So do go and check out other videos which we posted to the channel, which will give you some tips and tricks and insights as to how you can control your privacy and make sure that you're more comfortable in your gameplay. And if you want to find out all the information about this news, do go and click on the link in the description below the like button. And by the way, do be part of the notification squad so you don't miss the next video by enabling the notification bell after you subscribe.